Redmond defeated the Nagani Miners on a walk-off pass ball on Monday night. Good evening, everyone. Fast forward 48 hours later to tonight. The Redmen were back at home facing Escanaba. The Eskimos are set to play rival Gladstone on Thursday, so this was a possible trap game for Escanaba. Let's roll the highlights and find out how this one turned out. It was a cool but beautiful night for baseball on the shores of Lake Superior between the two GNC foes. Bottom of the third, Escanaba up 5-0, but here comes Marquette. Jake Olson comes through with a base hit to left. That scored Jay Oldberg from third, and the Redmen were down 5-1. Later in the inning, Jake Olson tried stealing a base, but Eskimos catcher Sean Bissell would have none of that. Bissell guns down Olson at second. A nice tag there by Hunter LaMarche. Let's jump ahead to the seventh. Escanaba's bats were still hot. Tyler Skufka comes through with a single to right field. CJ Barron, come on down. He scores on the play. Escanaba defeated Marquette 10-4. The Eskimos and Braves will battle at Gladstone tomorrow night at 4-30. In other baseball scores, Norway spoiled the party today in Hermansville as the North Central Jets played their first ever home game as a baseball team. The Knights won both games today 10-5 and 10-1. The Marquette Blues also won on the road 2-0 at Kingsford. McKinley Larson threw a complete game, eight hit shutout for the Blues. The two teams will play each other again on Thursday, this time in Marquette. In girls softball, Norway won both of its games at Gwynn today against the Model Towners. And Lance held off Lakeland and Hubble in check for a pair of victories. Up next, a little high school tennis action from earlier today. Marquette played at Nagani. Marquette's Josh Downs and Parker Bowman of Nagani battled in number one singles action. Downs with the forehand winner would get in the first set and he would go up five love. More from Downs coming up here shortly. Off the serve. There it is. Downs goes to the front of the net, and he backhands the ball right at Parker. No chance for him. Downs won the match in straight sets. Next to the number one singles court was number one doubles. The Nagani duo of Michael Anderson and Doug Lindblom played very well, leading 5-2 in the first set. Anderson fires the cross-court winner. Anderson and Lindblom won the first set. In set number two, Nagani leading 1-0. It's Lindblom's turn to take his chance at a nice play, and there it is. A backhand extension drops perfectly on the other side. Lynn Bloom and Anderson won their number one doubles match. Nagani wins at home 7-1 over rival Marquette. Back to the scoreboards we go. Kingsford and Menominee both picked up 7-1 victories over West Iron County and Escanaba. And there was a 4-4 tie between Gwynn and Westwood. The Model Towners won three of the four singles matchups, while the Patriots won three of the four doubles matchups.